coach, day one, what are you looking for from your guys going into this first week of practice? Uh, I'm looking for energy and, and, and compete level because we're always looking for that. And then after that, it's probably attention to detail, just doing it right. And I'm not necessarily just talking about the X's and O's of how we want to play. I'm talking about doing the drill right, uh, like getting in the mindset of if you don't know, ask versus do it wrong and then us have to say what, do you, what what are we doing here so i think we've got nine new faces getting them acclimated to the way we want to run practice no one's saying it's right or wrong it's just the way we want to do it um so that's what we're looking for nothing nothing earth shattering um getting them back in the structure of of regular practice and get out of summer mode you mentioned the nine new guys, six of those with college experience. What are you hoping for this year from that group specifically? Well, specifically, hopefully they can get into our lineup and 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 be turnkey type players and and plug and play right away. You know, and um, we've stayed close with those six guys to make sure they understand it. That's what we want them to do. I think that's what they want to do is, is, is jump in and act like guys that have played college before versus freshmen that are kind of tiptoeing around and, and, and not, not sure. Uh, and that's going to be difficult, but, but that's, what, that's, what we're, that's what we're hoping they can do. That's what we expect them to do. And I, quite honestly, as I said, I think that's what they expect from themselves is to step into our lineup and play like guys that have played college before. As you look at the experience you bring back, uh, graduate student captain, graduate student at goalie, some veterans up front, and then a big class of last year's freshmen, now sophomores, what are you hoping for from them? From those guys, we're hoping for, for change in that it is time for us to start being relevant and, and, and um, pushing back a little bit. And, and those guys all the way down, from Jack and Logan, you know, through that sophomore class, they've all been around here. They've all felt what we felt, um, as difficult as it's been. For Jack, it's been five years of, of or four years of, of very difficult in terms of winning and losing. So we're looking for those guys to draw a line in the sand and say no more. That's what we're looking for. And, and that's well, way easier said than done, especially in this conference. But um, that's what we're looking for. I think, and again, I think that's what they're looking for from themselves and from each other. Day one of practice, no matter how many years you played hockey, it's got to be a special feeling to just be out here with the guys. Yeah, totally. I mean, it's a really exciting time. Um, obviously, we've been on campus for a couple weeks now and just kind of chopping at the bit to get going. So finally, to have Burge and the rest of the coaching staff out here uh, to really get going and first real go at it with the, this group of guys is, is really exciting. What excites you about this team? You've got a lot of experience coming back, adding in a lot of talented newcomers as well, kind of blending that. Yeah, I think it's uh, I think the older group uh, is really exciting no matter what. Um, I know we got a lot of older guys on board. Um, all of us are on board. And uh, when you have the older guys to look up to that are bought into the systems and bought into what's going on and want to be here, I think that's a really special thing. How do you as a captain, as a leader, kind of help this team come together with nine new faces, several of whom have played college hockey before in just this 23-24 group? Yeah, I mean, obviously, like, it's my fifth year, so I've, I came back for a reason, and, and I love this place. I love everything about it. Um, but I think a big part of it, too, is leaning on that older group, uh, leaning on the seniors that came back and, and using them because they, they're going to take a huge step this year, and they're going to take us as far as we can go. So I think just using uh, my resources and, and leaning on the rest of the seniors is going to be huge. Thank you.